Welcome to RenewEnergy.com, your renewable energy and sustainability platform. Greenhouse gas, GHG, accounting has become a crucial aspect of modern business practices as organizations worldwide strive to assess their environmental impact and develop strategies for reduction. An integral part of GHG accounting is the conversion of greenhouse gases to carbon dioxide equivalents, CO2e, which standardizes the potential climate impacts of various gases to a single unit. This video provides an in-depth exploration of the CO2e concept, its calculation, and its relevance, supplemented with practical examples. Understanding Greenhouse Gases and CO2 Equivalents The most common GHG emitted by human activities is carbon dioxide, CO2, primarily through the burning of fossil fuels and deforestation. However, CO2 is not the only contributor to global warming. Other gases like methane, CH4, nitrous oxide, N2O, and fluorinated gases also trap heat in the atmosphere but do so with varying degrees of effectiveness. This effectiveness is encapsulated in a gas's global warming potential, GWP, a measure of the total energy a gas will absorb over a particular period, often 100 years, compared to CO2. To compare these disparate gases and their impacts on the climate, scientists use the concept of carbon dioxide equivalents. CO2e provides a standard unit, allowing the warming effects of different GHGs to be compared directly. The process of conversion. Converting GHGs to CO2e involves a simple mathematical process. It requires multiplying the quantity of each emitted GHG by its GWP. The formula can be represented as follows. CO2 equals amount of GHG, in tons, GWP of the GHG. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC, periodically releases updated GWP values for various GHGs. As of today, the 100-year GWP of CH4 was 28 to 36, and for N2O, it was 265 to 298. Fluorinated gases can have GWP values in the thousands or tens of thousands. Applying the conversion, practical examples. Example 1, methane emissions from livestock farming. Consider a cattle farm that annually emits 10 metric tons of methane, primarily from enteric fermentation, a digestive process in ruminants. Using a GWP of 28, the methane emissions convert to 10 metric tons CH4 times 28 equals 280 metric tons CO2e. Thus, the farm's methane emissions are equivalent to 280 metric tons of CO2 over a 100-year timescale. Example 2, nitrous oxide emissions from an industrial process. Suppose an industrial facility has annual nitrous oxide emissions, N of 3 metric tons from a specific manufacturing process. With N2O's GWP of 298, the conversion to CO2e becomes 3 metric tons N2O 298 equals 894 metric tons CO2e. Hence, the nitrous oxide emissions from the facility are equivalent to 894 metric tons of CO2. Example 3, hydrofluorocarbon emissions from a refrigeration system. A refrigeration system in a supermarket leaks 0.1 metric tons of a specific hydrofluorocarbon, HFC-134A, each year. Given HFC-134A's GWP of 1430, the CO2e of these emissions is 0.1 metric tons HFC-134A-1430 equals 143 metric tons CO2e. Therefore, the HFC emissions from the supermarket's refrigeration system are equivalent to 143 metric tons of CO2. Implications of CO2e for climate policy and business strategy. Calculating CO2e is not just a mathematical exercise, it plays a pivotal role in climate policy, corporate environmental strategy, and even investment decisions. By enabling a comparison of diverse GHGs in a single unit, CO2e allows policymakers and businesses to Prioritize efforts, CO2e helps organizations identify the most significant sources of GHG emissions, facilitating more targeted and effective reduction strategies. Track performance, CO2e allows the consistent tracking of GHG reduction efforts over time, aiding in assessing the effectiveness of implemented strategies. Communicate impact, by converting to a single, understandable unit, CO2e helps companies communicate their environmental impact and reduction efforts more clearly to stakeholders, including investors, customers, and regulators. The concept of CO2e is fundamental to our understanding of climate change and the comparative impacts of different greenhouse gases. It forms the backbone of GHG accounting and reporting, supporting businesses and aligning their operations with the demands of a warming planet. 
by converting their GHG emissions into CO2e, organizations can gain a clearer picture of their environmental impact and make more informed decisions to drive meaningful change. Thank you for choosing RenewEnergy.com as your go-to source for all things renewable energy and sustainability. With our YouTube channel, we explore the latest developments and innovations in the field, including hydrogen fuel cells and the use of AI and machine learning to optimize energy consumption. If you're ready to take the next step towards a cleaner, more sustainable future, visit us at RenewEnergy.com and discover the many ways we can help you transition to renewable energy. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Stay up to date on all the latest news and insights by subscribing today.